Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Justin Lamb, I am a figure skating fan, and today I am making a short video discussing Gracie Gold's comeback journey towards competing at the elite level once again. Now, this past weekend, she achieved a major milestone towards qualifying for the 2020 U.S. National Figure Skating Championships by competing at the South Atlantic Regionals, where she needed to be in the top four. She was actually third overall and qualified for the Eastern Sectionals. Once she is there, which happens on November 12th, I believe, she needs to place within the top four and meet some technical minimums in order to officially qualify for the U.S. National Championships once again. So this is a really exciting time for a lot of skating fans who are really rooting for her and following her comeback closely. Now I wanted to let you all know I'm not going to be including any of the competition footage in my video because as of right now it's all really accessible on YouTube. Go in and type Gracie Gold South Atlantic Regionals and you'll be able to see both the short and long programs. Thank you to the skating fans who recorded that and posted it for all of us fans to view worldwide. It's very much appreciated. Now in this video I'll just start off first by giving my general thoughts and opinions and then in a few minutes we'll discuss the technicalities towards her officially qualifying for the U.S. Nationals. So first, I am just really proud of Gracie Gold. If you're watching this, I want to say congratulations. A lot of skating fans are rooting for you. A lot of them are really supportive of you. And it's so brave and courageous of Gracie to make this comeback journey because it's a very public one. Like everybody is on the internet watching all competitions. There's discussion forums and it's not an easy task to do. When you have a comeback journey, there's a lot of steps required, but this was the right first step. I think last year she was at Ross Telecom Cup. She competed in the short program and you could just tell she was not ready. She eventually withdrew from the free program and did not try to qualify for nationals. But this was definitely the right choice. I know some skating fans wanted her to get the TBD spot for Skate America. I actually don't think that was wise. Neither is sending her to uh, an international senior B competition. This was a good start for her. I would say the plus is that she completed both programs, obviously, and you could still see the fire and the fighting spirit in her. So you know she wants to do well. And she went for a lot of the jumps especially in the free skate, she started off with three triple jump attempts, which is not bad for where she's at right now. And I gotta say, overall, it seems like she's doing this comeback for the right reason. She has some personal goals, potentially making the Olympic or world team again. And these programs really suit her. It almost seems like she has more control of her career because in the past, like five years ago, I'd say that it seemed like there was a team around her making a lot of the decisions from music choice to the dresses, but now it seems like she's taking control of her career, which I really appreciate. She's keeping the short program, which is, I put a spell on you, but I actually prefer her free program music, which is a song by Sarah Borelli's, and I believe it's called, I wrote it down here, She Used to Be Mine, and it seems like a really personal choice for Gracie. And yeah, I'm rooting for her. so sending her all the positivity and good luck, but there are still some obstacles that she needs to go through in order to qualify for nationals. A lot of it is revolved around the technical aspects of the sport. So let's go ahead and get into that. Not only will she have to compete at sectionals and place within the top four, but she has to meet the minimum technical requirement of 75. So technical notification from USFSA 229 dated May 23rd, 2019 says that in the ladies discipline, they need to have a combined technical competition score of 75 in order to qualify for the US national championships. So that means you need to combine the short program and the long program TES technical element score and it needs to be greater than 75. Gracie Gold did not achieve that here at the regional championships this past weekend. Her short program tech score was 25.41. In the free skate it was 36.5 
which totals out to be 61.91, which is about 13 points shy of the requirement. A technical highlight I will add for Gracie Gold at Regionals was that she completed the triple lutz double toe combination both in the short and in the long program. In the short, it was given positive grade of execution marks. It was not given plus GOE in the free skate, however. She can easily achieve that technical minimum if she works hard towards rotating her jumps, meaning getting the triples out because she did not really get a lot of triples in in the free skate. She attempted three in the beginning and then all of the jumps in the second half of her program were popped or doubled. And that's a real big detriment to your technical score. She's going to want to work on getting the rotations in and then hoping to get some positive grade of execution marks. That means having really clean landings and having a nice running edge out of those jumps. So by popping a lot of the jumps, you really lose out on a lot of base value points. Let's talk about some numbers. The base value for a double axle is 3.3. Whereas for single axle, it's 1.1. That's a difference of 2.2 points. And if we use the triple sal cow as an example, which she doubled in the free skate, the base value for a triple sal cow is 4.3, and the base value for a double sal cow is 1.3, the difference being three points there. So you can see the discrepancy between a triple and a double. You really want to go for those triples crazies at sectionals. And there's even a potential to earn more points than the base value with positive grade of execution marks if the jumps are done well. Another element to increasing her tech score is to add in some combinations. She really only did one in the free program. You can do up to three and one of the combinations can be a three jump combo. So that's really gonna help her get closer to that 75 point and actually not only get closer but surpass that which she needs to do to qualify for nationals. Some people believe that the doubles and the pops in the second half of her free program were intentional so they weren't actually pops. I have a hard time identifying an intentional double or a popped but one of my friends Aaron Conley, hey Aaron if you're watching this, says that it might have been a strategy just to do enough to get to sectionals. And I wanted to say that that's definitely not the mindset she should be having in a month. I say go for all your triples. If you can do a triple triple well in practice, go for it in competition. The last part I will add about her tech element is the spins. So they were fine in the short program, but in the free skate, she really didn't get the levels at all. None of her spins were level fours, and she totally has the ability to do level four spins. And that's also factored into the tech score, as well as the step sequence. I believe she only earned a level two or three in both programs. So if she can get that to be at least a level three in both programs by sectionals, that would help her as well. Her program component marks are quite lower than what she's used to at the elite level, but they are within the same range of the other ladies who are competing at these competitions. So really the focus needs to be on the jumps. I think she has a month to train before sectionals. The focus should be on endurance, rotating the jumps, and getting in some combinations. I know her coach Vincent has been showing her progress on Instagram. While it's very cool to see her do a triple axle and a quad on the harness, I really think it's most important to hone down the triple jumps to do clean free skate and short program run throughs. And maybe posting less on Instagram, hopefully that's done in her spare time and doesn't take away from Oh, excuse me, doesn't take away from actual training. I can only hope. It looks like she can land triple triples in practice, but it's another story to land them in competition with the program with the nerves. So do I think she needs to do a triple triple at sectionals? Probably not. It would really help if she had at least one. It would actually, what would be the most helpful is going after all her triples and not popping any at sectionals. And I will end this video by reiterating that I am so happy for her. I want to wish her good luck and the best in her journey. We will all be watching closely. Hopefully that doesn't put too much pressure on her, but she's just got to stay focused on herself, 
November 12th is when Eastern Sectionals begins. And I think that's all I have to say for today. Let me know what you think of Gracie's comeback story and what you think she needs to focus on for sectionals. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.